just a 10. But in the meantime, new tonight, a Valley-based soccer league is actually gaining popularity very quickly and now spreading across the country. But the games are a lot smaller and sometimes played a lot higher than you're used to. CBS 5's Amanda Goodman has more. All right, guys, so we're going to break into teams of five. When Adam Thelwell moved to the Valley from his native England, he wanted to join a soccer league that was like the ones he grew up with. He couldn't find one, so he started his own. That's how Small Goals Soccer was born. It's not just playing soccer. We have a community. We have a network which people can bounce uh, off opportunities off each other. But at the core of it is, is soccer and playing soccer together as a group. The concept is simple. The games are six on six, so everyone on a team gets to touch the ball more often. There's more action and more goals than a standard game. <laughs> with the few players in the Valley has spread to thousands with leagues in six states. But it's not just the size of the games that makes the league unusual. Sometimes it's the location. One day I was sitting around with a friend of mine and we decided to go kick a ball around downtown. And we were just walking through some courtyards and uh, found a parking garage, went up to the top of the parking garage, kicking the ball around. We thought this would be great if we got a little small-sided game going on up here. What started with six and eight of us coming up after having uh, a couple of cocktails with friends downtown and kicking the ball around turned into something that people wanted to be involved in and come up and play on the rooftops as an alternative way of playing sports in downtown Phoenix. They call it soccer bombing. Every once in a while, they'll announce a rooftop game on short notice. Early on, they drew 40 people to the top of a parking garage. And we probably played for a good two hours before the security guard came. And we just took off because, you know, we're not supposed to be up there. We didn't have the permits. We were just kind of playing it by ear. Now they have to cap registration at 50 people to keep things under control. That's not easy in a league that now has 3,000 players. In Phoenix, Amanda Goodman, CBS 5 News.